nope this this is my motto just keep swimming just keep swimming that's right um in hygiene school you just have to like roll with the punches you're gonna get a lot thrown at you and you just you just have to roll with it because otherwise you're gonna be drowning not swimming i'm just kidding but yeah basically that's that's the truth of it so yesterday i was on the street just like you know visiting um local restaurants and um tomorrow i'm gonna go to homeless shelters and um churches and um just basically everywhere just find patients find local patients the reason why I'm doing this now is because I had in my head relied I, I had relied on my my um my family members and friends to come because I really thought they were gonna come. But the thing is, I live um about an hour away from home, and they're not able to come here for me because it's hard. It's there's snow and it's um. I mean, I can't, at first I was kind of mad. I was like, why can't you guys be there for me? I worked so hard to get into the new hygiene school and now you guys can't come. I feel like I'm gonna, you know what I mean? It takes, it's gonna be, like, for them to be able to come here for you, they have to be committed to it because they have to come at least five to six times. Sometimes maybe they might have to come, come, to come here ten times, like, depending on how difficult they are as a patient. So I didn't realize that. I just thought... I guess I was being selfish when I thought that I'm like, you guys have to be here for me because I work so hard to get into dental hygiene school. Now this is like, this is what I need. I need you guys to be here for me. But now that I'm thinking about it, like it's it's selfish of you to think that, to be that way. You can't be that way because you because they have their own lives, you know. They have their families to take care of. And even though, it's just you just have to think about it that way. So now I'm just like rushing out there trying to get people to come for me. And I felt touched because an overwhelming amount of people were just like so happy to take my flyer my flyers to just like put on their walls and be very they were very supportive i i was shy and scared to like go and ask them but i had a positive an overall positive amount of response only one restaurant wouldn't put my flyer up on their wall because it's they don't support non-profit organizations but i was like okay the clinic has to charge even though I, I offered to pay for my patients, um, some of them, well, five of my patients, since I, since I already have one and I need, like, five more, I said my first, <laughs> the first five of my patients I'll pay for, and it's, like, a lot more people are calling, I guess, the other um, girls in the clinic that do not have patients will benefit from that, so... I don't know if they're going to pay for their patients because I need my patients to come and because they have to be dedicated, the patients have to be dedicated to the students because, um, sorry, the patients have to come as many times as is required because if the patients don't come, they're not completed, the students won't get the points. So I offered to pay for my patients because I needed them to come as many times as they have to so that I could get my points. Because if I don't get my points, there's no point of studying the patient. You know what I mean? You're not going to get rewarded the points and you're not going to pass clinics. So therefore, that's why I offered to pay for my patients. Since it's a learning experience for me too and I need them to be there. So, the point is you just have to like find patients who can use your services. Find people who who benefit. You both will benefit from what's what's going on you know what I mean like you will benefit from them because you'll be learning um in their mouth and they'll benefit from your services because you're you're doing a thorough cleaning which is not um given when you go to your um bi yearly um dental hygiene appointment because there's just not enough time for you to get a to get a thorough job um yeah so Look early, find people that will need your services, and you know, go out there, learn from my um, mistake of thinking people who said they were gonna come here. Um, and another thing, like when they say they're gonna come, they don't realize how many times they have to come. Like, I mean, because you're learning, it's gonna take per appointment. It might take three to four hours. You know what I mean? So it takes that long. 
because you're learning and you're you have to be guided and stuff so good luck